So it is the Army Weather Support Course, and uh, technically I'm the course manager. Um, operates out of the 304th Battalion Delta Company here at Fort Huachuca. This is the course that uh, Air Force weather forecasters of all ranks have to attend in order to be qualified to do Army weather support. So they come here, they learn some staff functions, get some field training, and then they're qualified to go support a uh, Army unit. So I'm Colonel Danielle Willis, and I'm the 93rd Air Ground Operations Wing Commander. And our missions are integrated base defense, combat weather, and tactical air control party. So here at the Army Weather Support Course, the combat weather airmen come through before they go to their units to provide support to the Army for all types of maneuver and aviation. And she's here to basically survey weeks two and week three of our course, and that's the two weeks that we focus on land navigation, um, employment of an individual weapon, and the warrior task and battle drills. I think it's the best example of leading from the front, you know, how commander make good decisions about, you know, their subordinates if they don't know what they do every day. So I feel like she's here closing the gap between our most senior leaders and airmen at the tactical level. So far the experience has been uh, pretty, pretty great. I uh, actually had a lot of fun and learned a lot of stuff. Uh, mostly the way of speaking to a lot of the Army people. Um, a lot of the terms and stuff you, is a little different and uh, a lot of the ways that we help them with weather and what they use it for. We didn't know this at the time, but uh, before that mission actually happened, we had forecasted bad weather for that to happen, so they actually delayed uh, some of the capturing or the, the going after of Osama bin Laden at the time. Uh, and then eventually, two weeks later, uh, on a Sunday, the weather was good enough for the team to go in there and, and do that raid uh, to go get Osama bin Laden. Now, the weather still wasn't perfect, but it was good enough for them to, to execute uh, the mission that they wanted to go, go in there. So if you look at the National Defense Strategy, it challenges the force to become more joint. And both the service chiefs of the Army and the Air Force are emphasizing joint all-domain operations and joint all-domain command and control. And combat weather is a crucial piece of that because they provide a piece of information and uh, intelligence preparation of the battlefield in order for those joint forces to go. That Army weather forecast is crucial not just for the ground commander to provide uh, him with decision quality information to, to do operations, but also for aviation that may be providing close air support or other kinds of cover for those fire teams that are out in the field. First of all, I hope they go back with a little more confidence in how to integrate, who to go talk to, who, who they work with, who they work for, what those relationships are. And secondly, and I think most importantly, we hope that they go back and their value added from day one when it comes from staff planning and um, participating in kind of the tactical problem that that unit has to deal with.